Emmanuel, my name is Neil, reporting for Emmanuel TV. God is with us. On Sunday, the 29th of June, 2008, Prophet TB Joshua delivered a prophetic message which had been revealed to him by God Almighty. Let's listen to that prophecy. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. I'm seeing a hero, famous and popular, a person that is at the center of the stone wall, being saved. Suddenly was saved. That's salvation saving from death. So can we give thanks to God? I'm seeing it. Give thanks to God. will be saved and you will see that it is your prayer that's actually the law you to save this please tuesday thursday let's capture wednesday so please lift up your voice god we want to give testimony and also thank you for this prayer prayer Give thanks to God, Father, we thank you. Holy Spirit, we thank you. Give thanks to him, give thanks to him. For his salvation over this person we are talking about. And also the prayer we need to offer fasting on Tuesday and Thursday to capture the Wednesday. I, I don't want to say more that it's a parable. On Wednesday, the 2nd of July, 2008, Former Colombian presidential candidate Ingrid Betancourt was rescued from the Colombian jungle where she had been held hostage by the Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia, known as FARC, for the past six years. Let's watch the report. Just into CNN Center, a huge development from Colombia. The country's defense minister says Ingrid Betancourt and three American hostages uh, have now been rescued. Uh, the French Colombian former senator and anti corruption activist Ingrid Betancourt has been released. Brian, let me interrupt you for a second here because we understand that all 15 hostages are on board this aircraft. Not sure what condition the other two are in because there, there really has only been, as we watch the uh, door of the uh, aircraft open here, there really has only been some what are called proof of life videos of these hostages. And let's listen in here. She is coming with boots. She has blue pants. She has an army vest. And she is hugging her mother. They're crying. It is a moving hug. And behind her are the remaining people coming in. Juan Carlos Lecon, her husband, and also hugs her. She takes off her hat. This is an emotional hug. reunion there. She hugs her mother and, and her husband, who, uh, who haven't seen them for so long. Breaking news coming to us now from CNN and it's a joyous occasion on an airport tarmac in Bogota, Colombia. In the middle of your picture is Ingrid Betancourt, recently released hostage of the FARC rebels, reunited for the first time since her six years in captivity with her two children. And Ingrid Betancourt has been giving press conferences all day describing her unbelievable joy. Let's just listen in. This must be something very similar to what I'm feeling right now. I give thanks to God for this beautiful moment, and I am so thankful that you're sharing this with me. Ingrid Betancourt calls the military rescue mission that freed her and her 14 other FARC hostages a miracle at a moment of pride for all of Colombia. Now free after six years in captivity. A la Virgen. Please join me to thank God to the Virgin Mary I prayed a lot. I imagine this moment very often with my mom. Don't cry anymore. You don't have to cry anymore. Betancourt, a rising political star in Colombia, was kidnapped while campaigning for president in a FARC stronghold in 2002. This video was taken just hours before she disappeared. Now some key figures in the international community are also weighing in on this rescue. France's president congratulates Colombia on a job well done while others are pushing for the rebels to release the rest of their hostages. Que le président Uribe reçoive la gratitude. The president Uribe 
receives my gratitude from the French people and that he can be assured of our relief and our gratitude and that the Colombian people and army be congratulated as well. To us, kidnapping constitutes a very serious violation to human rights. And that is why I would like, along with my joy, to call again for the release of the remaining people who still remain kidnapped in Colombia. I congratulate President Uribe, the military uh, of the nation of Colombia. This is great news. And now will renew our efforts to free all of the others, innocent people who are unlawfully being held hostage. I'm proud of uh, our relationship with Colombia, and I'm proud of my friend, uh, President Uribe. I appreciate his courage and his strong leadership and the successful operations they waged. Something changed. And even though they had been handcuffed and made to lie on the floor of the helicopter, suddenly one of their supposed captors said, you are free, I'm a member of the Colombian National Army. You are free. Just as Prophet TB Joshua said, I'm seeing a hero, famous and popular, a person that is at the center of their own world being saved, suddenly was saved. That salvation saved them from death. Ingrid Betancourt, former Colombian presidential candidate, was dramatically rescued by Colombian military spies and flown to freedom. While revealing the vision, Prophet TB Joshua led the congregation and international viewers in prayer and said, you will see that it is your prayer that actually the Lord used to save this. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. I'm seeing a hero, famous and popular, a person that is at the center of his own war, being saved, suddenly was saved. That's salvation saving from death. So can we give thanks to God? I'm seeing it. Give thanks to God. Will be saved, and you will see that it is your prayer that's actually the law you to save this. Please, Tuesday, Thursday, let's capture Wednesday. So please lift up your voice. God, we want to give testimony and also thank you for this prayer. Prayer. The man of God was instructing the congregation and the viewers to give thanks to God for the salvation of the hero salvation that saved her from death and such was the case of david in 1 samuel 17 verse 45 even before the battle had begun david was celebrating the promise of victory news of her rescue has spread like wildfire across the globe as the plight of betancourt who has french and colombian citizenship has attracted worldwide attention she was abducted in 2002 after venturing into rebel territory while campaigning for the Colombian presidency. Among many others, France's government has campaigned for her release. And in April of this year, French President Nicolas Sarkozy made a personal plea to Betancourt's captors. Confirming the words of Prophet TB Joshua that the person suddenly was saved the rescue was a surprise operation. In order to free Ingrid Betancourt, military spies surrounded the rebels and tricked them into giving up Betancourt and 14 other hostages. Surrounded by military commandos, the guerrillas gave up without a fight as the helicopters took the hostages to a military base. This was an unprecedented operation Defense Minister Juan Manuel Santos told reporters, it will go down in history for its audaciousness and effectiveness. Wednesday, the 2nd of July, 2008, the very day that the historic rescue operation took place was specifically emphasized by Prophet TB Joshua when he instructed the congregation and the viewers worldwide to pray and fast on Tuesday and Thursday, saying, Please, Tuesday, 
Thursday, let's capture Wednesday. Lift up your voice. This prayer is thanks to God. We want to give testimony and also thank you for this prayer. Please, Tuesday, Thursday, let's capture Wednesday. So please lift up your voice. God, we want to give testimony and also thank you for this prayer. Prayer. We at Emmanuel TV and the Synagogue Church of All Nations thank God for the revelation and join the loved ones of Ingrid Betancourt and the 14 hostages who were rescued with her in thanking God for committing himself to their freedom. We thank God for hearing the prayer of his children and for intervening in their affair. Just as our Lord Jesus Christ prayed in John 11 verse 41, Father, I thank you for hearing me. I know you always hear me. We pray, Father, we thank you for what you have done, what you are doing, what you are able to do. And we know and have seen that you are able to do more than we could ever dream.